All right, this video is just a little demonstration of the scale form that I talk about on my lap steel and blog in the steel guitar fundamentals uh, post uh, and the major scale in C6 tuning. Basically what we do is we take the major scale and we divide it into uh, two groups of four notes which are also called tetrachords. So we have C, D, E, F and then G, A, B, C. That would be for the C major scale. That's two tetrachords. And we could play these on a set of three strings and um, in my particular C6 tuning with the high E string uh, it would be strings two, three, and four. The root or tonic would fall on string four. So that's a good way of uh, identifying uh, which uh, scale we're going to play. Uh, so here we go to the fifth fret string four. That's the C note. So we begin our C scale at the fifth fret. Then we slide up to fret twelve play the second tetrachord. Okay. It's nice to take a metronome and set it at a relatively slow tempo and just repeat the scale over and over again until you have it, you know, nice and clean. You don't want to hear any bar slides except for when we slide up on the second string from the third to the fourth, when I say third to the fourth, I'm talking about scale tones. We don't want to hear when we move up from fret five to fret twelve, we don't want to hear anything. It's got to be just a continuous. And it's difficult to get right up there to the twelfth fret and hit that note exactly. So that's scale form one. Uh, a good way to practice this also through all the keys is to play it through the circle of fourths, which is the circle of fifths backwards. Um, the circle of fourths uh, will take us through the keys going from C to F to B flat to E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, then to B, E, A, D. G and then back to C. So we can work through the circle of fourths like this. C F B flat E flat A flat D flat, G flat, B, E, A, D, G, And then C. It's a really good exercise to work on just to give us, you know, uh, uh, familiarity with playing the scales in every key and to be able to, you know, move the bar quickly to be able to get where we need to be uh, to play the scales. The scales themselves are not that musical, but what we could do is we could rearrange the notes of the scale and the tetrachord and play them in, in different intervals and things like that to make them a little bit more interesting. Um, another thing that I like to do just fooling around and practicing is just to play a, a tetrachord followed by um, the chord that corresponds to it. So for instance I would start with C and, and work through the circle of fourths. I would go something like this.
just a little exercise to sort of help you along in the process.